Um, episode 20 of Blind Death World Marathon Spider-Tron Present, um, standing in the middle of this disaster that we put together a while ago. Um, I think in between episodes we, we ticked through some of this tech and I think it also did it, like one of the laser damage techs and and then we did a lot of the pushing that I talked about. Um, and we're still getting some attacks here, like all of, all of this is still going to be a thing. Um, but these guys are finished, the stuff they were building, They've got all their walls now. How many robots do these guys have? They, they didn't lose any. Nice. They've got seven repair packs. That's that's a good time. Um, but yeah, stuff to do there. This this whole front is still, you know, messy. This this guy needs a repair network. Sure. Um, but it's episode 20. So let's see how far we've got. We're about... Okay, so we're 18 hours through. We have... like 460 nest kills 275 small worm kills so over 300 worm kills okay so let's do the thing of comparing this to the what am I looking at 300 miners down okay so I have 50% more nest kills than mining drills, and I actually have more worm kills than mining drills. That's not something I'm super happy with, but sure. Um, why are all these green ships stuck? Is this... Oh, it's coal. Interesting. This is... I think these guys only have two trains? Yeah, so I could give that a third train. This is also a consequence of me having, like, a, a, a trash station set up that, that doesn't cache anything, but whatever. Um... If I have lots of extra circuits, oh, I don't think I did, yeah, so the other thing I didn't do, that I probably should have done, given that this is full, is I didn't actually start caching acid anywhere, and I should have because I want to get towards mining uranium, but it's not super important now. Um, these guys, yeah, these guys are why these things are backed up and that's fine, let's also see if we can get these out just to turn them back on again have have all of those um, these guys can also make some more laser turrets because we're going to need a lot of laser turrets how many of I'm probably going to need I'm just yeah at a point of probably needing everything how many flamethrowers do I have okay let's grab another hundred engines from there and let's do yet another ugly hack, making the space even worse. And go like so. One of these goes here, and then I can control this with the number of engines I give it. Because I think I'm going to need more flame vertex. I've got 23. Okay, that's going to be a decent amount. Um, these guys, I guess, are going to steal all the resources before it gets to the blue science, but, you know, whatever. Um, let's, yeah, let's also go and start caching the other stuff. Now, these, these caches are, like, pleasantly full. Okay, cool. Um, let's actually... I've still got a bunch of these things that I don't need. Okay. Um, at some point, I will... Actually, given that I've got the logistics network up, I'm probably pretty close to sorting out. Yeah, probably pretty close to sorting out a decent inventory clearing. Um, five. I wanted another... I wanted ten in total of these. Because these are the things that... Is this actually important? Is this actually important? Because I kind of haven't decided where I'm putting the nuclear station yet. Like, we're going to go mine this thing. Um, yeah, I have some quite aggressive plans for how that's going to work out. Um, I'm going to need some of these. Um, let's, let's at least kick off the rest of these, for which I need cogs. I have cogs here three, so I think I need one more, and that's also apparently cogs. 
sure that should be all of those guys I need for now they can go back yeah getting stuck on things actually let's not throw away those yet because I have a suspicion I also need yeah I've got trains I need more signals I need more stations as well and I haven't automated any of that because you know Steel? Steel. Pretty sure I still have steel up here. I'm okay. Circuits, which I need, because you know, this is this is how all serious factorioing happens, is is just doing a bunch of nonsense handcrafting. Um I also needed tanks. I did need tanks. I'm now short on iron. I'm pretty sure I've got some iron up here. And I've just given myself a handcrafting cube, but I actually want the tanks pretty soon, so... Um, so now we've got tanks happening. Um, do I need more flamethrower fuel? I quite possibly do. I've got pumps. I've now got all of those guys queued up. I've got a lot of bots. I've got centrifuges I don't actually need yet. Um, I will need a bunch more of these. Pretty sure I have pipe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Because I think the plan is going to be yeah, so here's an ambitious plan that, actually, looking at the spacing now, I don't think will work. Um, so we're going to take, we're going to take like a defensive corner here and put it like around of this thing. I think, like the initial plan was just to drag power over there, tap this oil, put a defensive line down here and around here, have the robots just kind of take care of that while I went and pushed these bases, but these guys are actually really close. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not that works. Um, but the theme is, in order for that to happen, I need another seven pump jacks. So I need more steel. You know, things I could have automated but haven't. Six, seven, which also means I need another 14 speed modules. Do I care about speed modulating them yet? I don't think I actually care about speed modulating them yet. I can do that later. Um, but what I do need to do is pick up all of these tanks and start making acid because that's going to take a while. And how long are these guys doing? 530 bots. That's, you know, sure. I will also need. Will I need more rail? Yes, but probably not yet. And how much are these guys in the way? Probably quite a lot. I mean, this is a train, this is a, yeah, a piece of belt that I'm planning on getting rid of pretty soon. Um, but I want to be able to do, I guess, that much and have it go... Is there going to work? Maybe there? Sure. Let's... Let's... Get rid of all of that now. Is this... Can I actually get... this train to work out here? Probably. I mean that these power po power poles were never going to stay anyway. Um, do I need? I don't think I need that one. There. So now, world is connected again. Do I need to worry about getting this? I don't even need to worry about the train line yet. What I need to worry about is. Connecting this to the acid that I'm kind of making, but not really making. 
which is this line. Wow, it's completely blasted. Uh, not enough pipe. Good times. So that, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's connected. It's just not. Did I make? I did make another one. Okay. So flammable levels is done. I guess we get actually personal rubber board's going to be useful. Um, yeah, I guess that's just the rate at which this guy is able to. Actually, no, it still looks like it's. Yeah, it's still it's still limited by these two guys. And they're just doing what they can. I could give them more productivity modules, but I'm not going to yet. Um, okay. So, what do we actually need for this plan to work? Uh, I've got a bunch of those. I've got. I'm going to need more landmines. Um, do I. Yeah, let's set. Let's just wander over here first. He said going the wrong way. And set up. set up this other base yeah pausing to look at the map to check the train tracks to see if we would hit anything yeah set this guy up with a rubber port because it kind of probably needs one rubber port can go that looks like it covers everything um, have some bots have some repair packs repair packs um, have a chest with some walls do you guys want guns? But I think you want some. Do I have? Did I bring laser turrets? I did not bring laser turrets. Interesting. That's probably fine. Um, okay, let's get on with this train stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be spending on time on this this episode. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, he's he's fine. He's still doing stuff. I do need more walls, so let's go and get more walls. We'll get walls from down here because I've got a lot here. I think I should have a lot here. Or do I have more train stuff? I do have more train stuff in here. Um, you guys don't need any of the train stuff at this point. Um, and then the one with the walls is this one. Sure, let's commit to going places with the car. Um, that's right, you also wanted repair packs. Have a lot of repair packs. Okay, so that's done. I think that one's an expansion. Pretty sure that one's an expansion. Because um, I was going to landfill and do that differently as well, but I haven't. Uh, what I will do though is. Okay, he's going that way, that's fine. do want another rubber port, like, I guess it wants to be here. Um, so now the rest of that will get built and all that stuff will get repaired. Did I bring... I did actually bring the landfill, so I've... Yeah, let's, let's just do this now then. Can I afford to move him forwards a bit? I probably can. I can probably afford to move him down a bit, actually. So we're going to do that. We now have like a fire issue with those trees. Um, but we'll take those out of the way. So anything that gets even here will get shot before it gets here. We've got quite a bit of cover there. Happy with that. Um, oh, I needed a radar, didn't I? Do I have radars? Where are the radars? I do not have radars. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of radars as well because there was a spot over here that didn't actually have radar coverage and I couldn't actually see what they were doing and that was a bit of a problem. So, go like that. Now I've got radar coverage. Okay. 
Do I give this guy a rubber port as well? I guess, but it's not actually a big deal. The thing I actually wanted to do was to kick off that build, and do I have everything I need for that? I still need to have two rubber ports. Okay, I do need to go back and pick up more rubber ports. Was that? I heard that was a tree rather than like a power pole or anything. Whatever. Moving on. Um. Yeah. Now I've already got a problem checking whether or not. No, I put them in the car, didn't I? I did. Um. Yeah. Already have a problem with just driving over trains and stuff, and especially pushing new train lines out to new places. Um. So let's lean into that by making the trains faster, and and thereby more difficult to dodge. It'll it'll be fine. What are these ten things getting attacked? Turrets. I'm okay with that. Walls. Um. Okay. So rubber ports are down here somewhere. Um, do I also want to take the lasers? I think I do. Um, in that case you can go back to one and I'll have both of those. So I've got a bunch of laser turrets which, I mean, there's still this kind of dodgy this thing, but these tanks are probably full, so sure. Um, yeah, I could... That coal oscillation is almost certainly due to the terrible coal train setup that I have, but whatever. Um, I wanted these. Oh, I've got more laser turrets here. Um, I'm going to leave them there because other people will need them. And I'm not getting... Yeah, sure. I'm still not getting a whole lot of red circuits out. Uh, but at this point it's not because of anything, it's just because I'm doing all my blue signs, which I guess I'm fine with. Um, yeah, one of the first things we do once we hit... Oh wait, there were actually other things I needed, which is a pain, because I can't get to them from here. We want the nuclear power, we want to then turn off all the coal power, we want to stop driving into all the things that I put in the way, like inserters and pipes. Okay. And yeah, a, a big green circuit build is going to be one of the things we look at as soon as we get to the point of. I'm having a lot of nuclear power to play with. What did I want? I wanted some of these bullets. Of which I don't have many bullets. Because I don't have... Because of the way this is prioritizing the steel. Uh, sure. Okay. Those guys are making red bullets. Repair packs was one of the other things I needed. Do I? I still don't have enough pipes. Problems I can kind of fix. That's probably enough pipe. Do I have... I don't, yeah, let's... Do I need to worry about setting up the mining yet? I don't think I do. In fact, let's just get... Let's just get the defences online, which will mean I need flamethrower turrets. I need the lasers. Do I really think I have enough flamethrower turrets to, to bridge that entire section? I don't actually think I do. Um, yeah, let's... Let's go for it anyway and assume that nothing bad will happen. This is kind of the, the high-risk way to play this stuff anyway. Do you guys have flamethrower fuel for me? You do, that's nice. Um, this is not the way to be going. I am going to want more landmines. They're actually quite an important part of the plan. I only have 500 right now, but that's probably not going to be enough. Depending on how many of those bases I want to push, which will probably turn out to be all of them. Like, I actually want to be able to secure that territory. Oh, that's right, that's why that didn't happen, because I didn't have any. That's something we'll just deal with, I guess. 
Okay. Um, so I need to connect rail. Rail is probably getting connected through here. But that's not something I need urgently and is also not super interesting. The first thing I need to do is actually put take power up here and defend this guy. I think I'm pretty sure these guys are all just worms. But they're still going to be in the way, so maybe I should push them on the way. Um, I did, yeah, I did get more rubber pods, it's fine. Okay. Um, I should have put one of these. Fine. Think things that are good to forget. Am I, am I actually pulling power out that way? Where's... I mean, I'm kind of assuming that's all going to be safe, but I don't think I can assume that that's going to be safe yet. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Um, I think the place I'm going to have to pull power out is, like, over here or something, and then go up a bit. You know, this would have been easier if I actually had the big power poles and the logistics network, but I don't think I do, because, you know not taking that bit particularly seriously yet. So let's go this way. And then that forest kind of in the way. I guess I'm taking this shore. Ah, yeah, that was... I also threw down, when I was clearing out the bases up the top, just a big, giant, double line of mine saying, please do not expand here. So we'll see if that works. Oh, yeah, because it's got all of the wall in it. I can't actually pick up the car at the moment. Was that actually easier than throwing a grenade down? I'm not sure that it was. Okay, so these guys, hopefully I haven't messed this up. Yeah, they're still connected, that's fine. So, what do I want to do? I want to give... You can start there. Do this. Give you a bunch of bots give you... why? Oh yeah, landmines, sure. Um, we give you a bunch of wall, give me all that wall. You'll need wall, you'll need flamethrowers, you'll need all of this kind of stuff. Probably some power poles. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't given you repair packs, that's kind of important. Um, and I've left four for myself. Sure, nothing, nothing bad will go wrong if I only have four. Let's do something like this. Um, yeah, this is this is actually problematically close, isn't it? And I'm going to have to again get rid of a bunch of trees that are kind of in my firing line. Um, but that's kind of okay. Anyway, pump jacks. Where are the pump jacks? Yes, this is a fairly aggressive way of trying to make this work. Okay, but we are somewhat defended now. that. I mean, there's still, yeah, there's still a decent chance that I burn down like a bunch of this stuff by accidentally having, oh yeah, and in a quite important detail, this does actually need to be connected to this thing, 
that's that's kind of vital. Okay, where did I put the car? The car is there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure somewhere I've got a straight section of wall. Let's let's grab this bit of straight section. Oh, it's got a rubber pot in the middle of it. Am I okay with that? I'm probably okay with that. Yeah, let's put it there. Um, they don't have any of those. I'm gonna need to put them there myself. Uh, that also doesn't want to be there. Okay, so that's happening. I still haven't given him turrets or anything, but that's fine. I also need to build the rubber for myself. Things they don't have. Okay, so. That's kind of protected. And then I want, what do I want? I actually want to take this out and go, there you've got a tank. And do I have, I do have coal, good any surplus of more than let's say 5,000 let's say 15,000 um, wants to come out of this tank and into some other storage tank which I'll be able to put a train station here I should be able to put 33 things taking damage I'm okay with that uh, Let's, for spacing purposes, figure out where this guy is going, and it might just go like here. Sure. Uh, am I putting more tanks in this? I think I am. Because I'm probably not coming back here for a while yet. So these guys are doing their thing, those pump tracks are doing work, I'll have another oil cache here that I'll get around to in a moment. And then the next thing I want to do is figure out how this defensive line connects to this uranium. And I think I want to go in front of these trees, but I may still have to demolish those trees. Something, Something's not really taking damage, it's fine. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that need work. Uh, so... Let's let's work our way back from the other end, I guess. Are they all worms? They're in fact all worms. I'm happy ignoring them for a moment. Um, yeah, so here's the uranium. And like let's let's do this thing where we grab a corner again. This looks like a pretty decent corner. Am I putting it? Am I just straight up putting it in front of the trees? I would rather keep those trees. So if I do that, what does that look like on the map? I don't even know that I want it going directly back here. I think I want... Let's get rid of all of that and let's do something like... Somewhere I have a big hideous diagonal section. So let's grab a big hideous diagonal section. and figure out how this fits in like so, I guess. Because then I can do that. Yeah, I think I like that. And then I will have I will have a bit of a frontier, and then we'll look at clearing these bases out and connecting this frontier to this lake, and then, then we will have a lot more work to do, but also kind of territory. Okay. That's kind of an ugly thing, but it's fine. Let's get a bit of the straight section and go like... I guess like so, and then... Like that. So, and... Doing all the things, don't want those two. 
sure let's put it there and yeah we're gonna have some interesting problems because concave sections of walls are not really things that are great uh, because of RoboPort reasons um, like if I have if I have a section of wall that needs to be repaired here and it decides to task a bot that's in a rubber port over here it can fly outside of these walls to do the direct line thing which is kind of suboptimal um, but I think we'll deal with that in a bit later anyway is that all oh, the reason that's out of range is because you guys need one there fine um, have the rest of the walls I guess that's all the walls I have um, I've got more bots you can have more bots now the question is do you still have you do still have a decent number of flamethrowers and pipes and stuff like that so that's kind of all considered defended let's let's see if we can tap these guys in as well if I put that there if I put it there um, then I've got to figure out how to get these guys in do I? No, I reckon those two guys between themselves can give decent coverage. I reckon that'll be fine. Uh, by which I mean, I'm going to pretend it's fine, and hopefully it doesn't fall over. Let's do that. Let's bring this down here. Yeah, this is, uh, depending on where this guy is. Oh yeah, I've got radars. I don't think I put radars down in the other place, did I? I think that's probably going to be a useful thing. And then one there. And now the bots have a lot of work to do. And these guys should eventually fill... Yeah. Oh, radars was the thing that I just said and then remembered. And then set again. Radar over there. Radar kind of in the middle, I guess. I don't need that one. What are you guys actually connected to? Oh, you guys aren't connected to anything. And it also doesn't matter because you don't have your pumps yet. Um, this That one's actually kind of an important pump. Okay. That's better. Now I've got those guys all working. Okay, so... The rest of the plan, with this kind of defensive line somewhat underway, how many more am I out of flamethrower turrets? I am, in fact, out of flamethrower turrets. Uh, doing the techs, what other techs do I actually need? Shall I just continue with the damage stuff? I think I continue. I can't do. I mean, I've got landmine damage that I need. That might actually be the thing I lean on before I'm doing anything about am I out of walls probably just out of robots um, okay let's do like I'm probably gonna have all of these turrets in place anyway even though they're purely a distraction thing they're not actually part of Yeah, they're not. They won't actually form part of. I mean, I say they won't form part of the defenses. They'll kind of be part of the defenses. They will exist purely to get attacked. Um, what are they? Oh, yeah, sorry, rubber ports. Will you connect over here? Because I'm actually going to need you further over here. Because I've got to mine that uranium and put some train stations and stuff like that down. Um, two more rubber pods. Yeah, sure, you go there. Um, so 
the problem we've got. We've got a lot of defense done. This is kind of still a spooky time. The trees are doing work, uh, but it's, you know, it's kind of defended. Um, and it kind of actually lines up with the wall of mines that we've got that actually goes all the way back up here. So, so this territory is, air quotes, ours. Um, and the next thing I needed to do, actually, let's let's res let's let's pretend that that will be stable enough for the moment that I can go back and resupply with a bunch of stuff because they need they need pipes and they need flamethrower turrets and I'm trying to figure out which way is actually the easiest way to go and that's an interesting thing to find so let's deal with this super quickly yeah this is why I want to push all of the bases on that kind of southwest coast bit so that all of that all of this all of this becomes territory that is mine rather than territory that is contested and yeah that's kind of what we expected that's just going to do a thing uh, I wanted pipes I wanted underground pipes and I wanted flamethrowers I haven't given any of those guys laser towers yet either, but I don't think I want to at the moment, or at least don't particularly care about giving them laser towers because 20 of those is nice. Um, how many of these do I need? Let's take a bunch. And then let's... Okay, that's all the iron I have. I have some more iron here. That's probably going to be enough of those pipes and things for a while. Um, I only have four repair packs. I reckon I go and get me some more repair packs as well. And let's also check on the acid to see whether or not it's actually building up. Like, not very well, but sure. Yeah, I will need to be doing a bunch of uranium mining fairly soon. How does the bot network going? 810. Wait, did I? I did want to pick up more walls, but like we won't do it here. We'll do it at the other place that makes a lot of walls, which is further out of the way. Sure. I should have picked up more red ammo as well, although I guess the point is still I am using landmines to do most of the work clearing. So I guess it's okay. Give me more walls. Sure. Um, picking up more robo ports would have been nice. I don't actually think I have the robo ports at the moment because I don't have the red chip production because I don't have all of the other things that go into red, red chip production, starting with the mining and the power for which you know getting the nuclear on is actually the plan. So we're in another of those kind of circles of things, but that's fine. Um, which way am I going? I guess I'm just going this long, circuitous way. Sure. Hit the rocks. Um, all of these things are blinking because they need construction materials, which is the right reason for them to be blinking. I've got one more rubber port, so I can build that down a little further. Uh, but I can just do something like uh, have have a bunch of pipes, have a bunch more pipes, um, flamethrower turrets, have a bunch of flamethrower turrets. 250 in the network and 200 repair bags, you're probably fine. I didn't give you pipe to ground, didn't I? You guys are all fueled. You guys are all fueled. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, so with that mostly taking care of itself, that's probably an attack group. Yeah, it's an attack group. Um, let's deal with these guys. Um, let's leave the car up because that's kind of part of the plan. 
do that, we'll do this. 25 is probably the right amount. I still haven't used the rocket launcher. So if those guys get running me through there, which is fine. Everyone else dies to the turrets. We get a couple of bots up. We drive in here and we see if we can Why are my bots around the other side? I don't need them over here. Mm. Uh, you know, the other thing that I didn't do that I probably should have done is build backup cars because I don't actually have a backup car at the moment and it's kind of important. I don't really want to get stuck here without... Is that turret pushable? Do I have the turrets to push that? It does not have to be turret pushable. We can just... There we go. Okay. Let's take some of that. These guys are pretty good at standing in fire. So we'll let them. Then... I do not range on you guys. Okay, so that's that base. Tidying the stuff up. Uh, then recover all of those landmines, or at least, you know, get around to recovering them when I build the rubber ports this far out. So with that done, the next step is going to be to cheekily expand this guy some more, like... Is that going to be in the right place? Let's put it there. Ah, press Q. Why are you not press Q? There we go. Um, actually, it's not that far, is it? Because I've got to... Like, this one is actually the one that determines how far apart these poles are, because they are more finicky to connect than otherwise. Okay, so I can actually push them down a little bit further. Like to there, or so. Um, and we really don't want those landmines, because they'll be in range of those flamethrower turrets, and they'll get destroyed without doing anything useful. Um, how's he doing? That's fine. All of this is fine. How's my tech doing? Tech is just blasting it, which is great. 3.5k military science. Um, do I have... Oh, yeah, because I, like, had walls and then did not use walls. So there, you can have some walls. Um, so that's that defensive setup. It's probably fine. These guys are, you know, doing work. Um, let's continue pushing, then. And yeah, this one looks like a one that will be good to deal with. Hi guys, how are you doing? I can totally push that probably is this big. It probably is still big. It's fine. Um, something was taking damage, something's no longer taking damage, which means I've stopped caring about it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do something. So yeah, we have actually haven't got the uranium mining online, and I kind of hoped that this would be an episode of getting the uranium mining online, but we are staking out a fairly large chunk of territory, which I'm kind of happy with. This one's kind of spicy near the coast. 
I got some of them with those landmines. Yeah, all these cliffs are just a bit in the way, aren't they? I've actually got a decent number of pigs, so... That's how we deal with that. Should have stopped the car more, because it ran away. 800 landmines, it'll be fine, probably. I got at least a couple of them down, didn't I? No, not my car! Retreat and repair the car. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Is this time to just turn this into a turret push? How many worms are left? There are only a couple of worms left. Fine. There's a worm down here. Nope, there's a spitter down there. So that's that base pushed, which I like. Have have not lost the car yet, which which I think is pretty important, given that I don't actually have a spare car with me. A lot of people complaining about things they need to build that they don't have, but that's also a thing I'm okay with. I still need more rubber ports. Um, where is car? Here is car. Four bits of fuel left. Fine. Yeah, getting... Did I actually put... I did not put a radar down there. Let's at least do that. Uh, where is... Where is rubber port? Here is rubber port. There is radar. Done. So yeah, we're getting, we're getting a bit closer to securing territory. And then we will have a pile of space that we can kind of do whatever we like with. Which will mean figuring out where... Yeah, figuring out where a nuclear power station will go. All these guys can walk through the fire. Which is, which is fine. And there's actually still a lot of dudes over here, so we kind of want them to walk through a bunch of landmines. And they were placed too close, and never mind. Spicy, spicy lack of momentum. That was, that felt pretty dodgy, to be honest. Um, but we've actually done... Oh, this is also the base that's on the copper. Don't do a doink. Okay, turret pushable. Um, we'll leave the car in it, because otherwise it will use up the solid fuel. We've got 200 bits of fuel left. 200 bits of fuel, 200 bullets. And we're good. The, um, yeah, this this copper section will probably also end up pretty vital. Uh, we're going to need all of that copper. Because we don't have a whole lot ourselves. Okay, let's push one more base. Actually, let's scout. I, don't I was going to say let's scout the other side of that forest to see if there are any expansions, but I'm not actually not going to bother doing that. Ooh, a turret was killed. Good stuff, guys. That's, that's your, you know, largest chunk of progress yet. Yeah, this is just a little base. So this is, it's got some medium and big worms. Do I, I think I'm just going to straight up turret push this guy.
da, 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 da. Uh, hopefully I still have aggro and I do and that's that base sorted um, I'm not even going to repair these turrets I have a different plan for repairing the turrets which will also run made of turrets but you know, that's fine. Um, do I want to lay... I mean, I still want to lay a bit of a minefield there. Just stop them expanding back into that space. Do I want to lay, lay a minefield? I don't really want to lay a minefield there. I still want to do the rest of this stuff. But I kind of also want to get... Yeah, there are just a lot of things I want to do. Which is... I guess a sign of progress. So yeah, my plan for repairing all these turrets is just have all the turrets. Um, they'll put them down in like random places along this wall and then they'll repair them because they've got the repair packs. And the next thing I need to think about doing is how am I going to get... I mean first off, this much of the plan is pretty straightforward. I just go bleh. And then these guys want a bunch of belt, a bunch of power poles, and a bunch of mining drills. Um, but then the question is, after that, where am I putting the rail stations? I've got to bring acid in. I've got to bring... I've got to put the f nuclear stuff on a train. Um, but now I'm kind of happy with, with where we're leaving this. Um, let's move on to, I guess, laser damage. It doesn't cost me any more energy, it just like makes the lasers better. Yeah, so we've got a bit of territory here. I should actually... Let's do the last bit of this. And just go, like, do the same thing as on the other side, and just go, like, this space here is mine, thanks. Please do not expand through that area. And they should be... Yeah, so there's a tiny bit here, but they'll probably aggro these towers first. And that that frontier is now actually a frontier. We have territory. Um, so that's cool. That's that's episode 20. We have... We have, like, a space to... How many of these today? Put down 26. And it looks like they need some more. So, have some more... Where did I put them? Yeah. So I've got space where uranium mining will happen. Uh, I can just put that like on the on the stuff, it's fine. So I've got space where uranium mining will happen. Um, once I get them acid, I've got to get a way to get them acid. Probably in between, I will like extend this rail over here, because that's not going to be super interesting, that's just going to be me like throwing out a bunch of cliff explosives and cutting down trees and stuff like that. Um, these guys are still going to be re-expanding in here, even though I've done a lot of work pushing them back. And then I think I also have to just start manufacturing gun turrets? How are these? These guys? Yeah, that, that makes me happy. I will in fact have a bunch of acid to put on trains to bring over to this patch. And then once I've got... Once I've got the uranium ore on a train, I will think about where I'm going to put a nuclear power plant. And it might be, like I've got water here, but there kind of isn't enough space anywhere there, and like the train line's coming through here, and this is already getting a bit cramped. Um, maybe, maybe here? Maybe, maybe here? Maybe, maybe up here? Who knows? I mean, I need... I don't actually need all that many other logistics to be going to the nuclear power station. I need to be able to take the ore to it from here, and we've already got a plan for doing that. It's going on a train. I need some metal because... Where is it? The nuclear fuel cells take uranium that's come out of a centrifuge and iron, but actually not a lot. Um, if it was in a logistics network, I could just 
RoboPod, that stuff there. Um, but yeah, we'll think about that later. The first, the first thing we're going to do is connect all the rest of this up by rail and start mining this. And that will be a good time. And yeah, getting, getting how many? 18, 19 hours? So this is a long episode, okay fine. Getting 19 hours into a marathon death world and being at the point of having a couple of frontier-like things that are like complaining about not having equipment, but they put them all in the same place, okay fine. Um, yeah, generally, generally kind of happy? Sure, we'll, we'll come back later and see if we can build the rest of a nuclear power plant.